Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll be sharing a workflow to use specific character styles in the Hanyuan video model using the Hanyuan LoRa. With this workflow, you'll be able to use the LoRa loader model only node to run other LoRa models with certain character styles. To get started, you can download LoRa models from civit.ai. To search for LoRa's specifically target for the Hanyuan video model in the filter tab on the left, uh, select Hanyuan as a base model and filter by model type to LoRa. Once you click search, you'll see all the LoRa models available for download and civit.ai. Just a heads up, you might encounter NSFW content if you don't have it turned off in your account setting. In the future video, I'll share a workflow to train your custom Hanyuan LoRa model using images so you can create and use your own custom LoRa for specific character styles. When you download a LoRa file, make sure to place it in the comfyui slash models slash LoRa folder. For Hanyuan specific LoRas, you can also create a separate folder called Hanyuan and store all related LoRa models there. I'm going to see the example videos created by this LoRa model to download and see what prompt they used. Here's a handy trick. Uh, if you liked any of the video created in civit.ai and if you want to see the prompt and workflow used to generate this video, simply right click the video, save it, and drag and drop it into ComfyUI. Most of the time, this will reveal the uh, workflow and prompt used. For example, I like this cat video riding a shark. I'm going to download this video and drag it into ComfyUI and click run and I can replicate the same result. As noted in the workflow, you can adjust the tile size and overlap if you run into memory issues. In the context of vase and AI video generation, the decoding processes video or image content in smaller manageable tiles rather than decoding the entire frame at once. And this approach sometimes improves efficiency and scalability uh, for high resolution videos. However, more tiles mean uh, you need more stitching to do in the end, and this can increase overhead. There's also a risk of visible seams between tiles if uh, it's not generated properly. The overlapping regions between the tiles are computed again to ensure proper stitching and seamless transitions. If you're running low on memory, try lowering the tile size and this overlap value, and you might notice a slight difference in image quality, but it can help manage memory usage. I'll also be testing some other LoRa's that I downloaded. For example, I've downloaded this Mira character from Civit.ai, which is a trending character from a new game. I'll download some example videos from here and experiment with prompts to see which one generates the best results. I'm going to drag and drop this video of the character drinking a coffee on a sofa into the comfy UI and modify my original workflow to use the similar values that was used to create the video, like the model strength value, the dimension of the video, and the basic scheduler steps value. Okay, the result is pretty similar to the original video, just the hands are twitching a little bit. And here I'm testing another LoRa model to generate a character from SpyX family. With this workflow, you can run various types of character LoRa's for Hanyuan video. I linked the workflow to download in the description and you can join my Discord channel to ask any questions if you run into any issues. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.